Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and this tutorial is going to show you how to make a super easy title or logo screen for your indie game. It's super easy, you only need a couple nodes. Just start a 2D scene, name it what you want, I'm going to name it title. Add a camera 2D node, a sprite node, a color rectangle node, and an animation player node. First in the camera 2D node, be sure to turn on current, that way this camera will be the camera that the player sees this scene through. Keep in mind this camera is going to have the same size to whatever you set it to in your project settings under window. It depends a lot on what your game is. Hopefully you've seen this and kind of know what it is, but this will decide how big the camera is. And I've set mine to full screen just so that it fills up your standard um, HD monitor. Then you're going to want to make a sprite that's the exact same size as whatever that camera size is that you saw in your project settings. I made one and I'm just going to plop it in, in the texture of the sprite. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in the outline of the camera. Then the color rectangle, you're going to want to make the size the same as the camera again, but just a little bit bigger. Then you want to position this so that it covers up the entire image of both the camera and the sprite. If for whatever reason your color rectangle is showing up behind your sprite, that means it's higher up in the tree. So just be sure that it's lower than the sprite in your in your uh, node tree thing here. Then go to your animation player and we're going to create a new animation. I'm going to call this one fade, if I could spell fade. And I like to make mine two seconds long and just bring this slider bar to the beginning of the animation. Then click on the color rectangle and click on the color. I have mine already set to black. You can set yours to whatever you want. The default is white. But we're gonna go ahead and just set that to black and then click the key. The key will add a keyframe to your animation. So at the start of the animation, the color rectangle will be black. So then now at the end of the animation, we want the color to just not even be there. We want it to be invisible. So we'll just take the opacity, move it over all the way, hit the key again. So you can see at the beginning of our animation it's black and at the end it's clear. Then on your title go ahead and add some script. And your script is going to look something like this. In the ready function, um, this is the way I set it up. So first I'm going to wait one second before I start the animation that fades in. The animation will take two seconds. So this line of code will determine how long after the fade is over we get to look at the title screen or logo screen. And then after that we're going to fade it back to black and we can do that just by saying play backwards, fade, we don't have to make a whole new animation. You have to include the two seconds here though, so if I want it to be a three second time to look at the title screen, then I have to make it five seconds because this animation it will take two seconds. Then this line of code is going to determine how long after we fade back to black before we move on to the next scene. I have two seconds because that's how long the animation takes, and then plus one second before I actually move on. This line of code changes scenes, and we're going to not put that in, but instead, let's say we wanted to go to the main menu. We can just copy and paste this right in there. So at the end of this title screen or logo screen, one second after we fade back to black, we'll move on to the main menu. You can make this whatever you want, the next screen, the next start of the game, I don't know. And then it will look something like this, where it will just fade in nice and, nice and smooth. You'll see your screen for a little while, then it'll fade back. I've used this twice, it's really great for just a really quick, easy title screen for if you're doing a game jam, or just your small little games that you just need something quick and easy. And this is quick and easy, but it is a base, you could do a whole lot more. Uh, customize it up as you will for whatever the needs are of your game, but at least Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you If you have any cool ideas on how to do title screens or if you've done your own title screens in the past And you love the way you did it, please share in the comments down below. I'm sure everyone would love to hear Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day